Casey touched the badge on the front desk. She was instantly transported to another world. She was shocked. The badge fell on the floor. Kathy boldly picked up the badge. In front of her were fields of golden wheat and a magnificent castle in the distance. Curiosity drove her forward. The next moment, she crashed back into the real world. Kathy tried to get her father to touch the badge, but there was no response. When she touched it herself, she was back in the wheat field. It was amazing. At night, Casey picked up the badge again. This time, she saw the castle. She tried to walk to it, and the next thing she knew, she was falling down. In reality, she fell down the stairs. This time she was smart. When she got to the road, she checked the direction of the castle. Then she rode her bike to a clearing. When she touched the badge again, there was nothing she hadn't seen before. It was a sci-fi world of the future. Flying machines are at your disposal. The subway hovered in the air. Cars fly overhead. Rockets have become a means of transportation. We're on a levitating train. I see swimming pools in the sky. And the time bus. She was so excited she wanted to ride the rocket. But then a countdown sounded on her badge. And then, the closer she got to the rocket, the more resistance she felt under her feet. It turned out that she had walked into a pool of water in reality. When she got home, she searched the internet for information about the badges. She found a store that was buying them. Kathy came to the store. The owner was excited about the badges. The badge was the key to the two worlds. Then he pressed her on who gave her the badge. She didn't know anything about it. The two men raised their laser guns and threatened Casey. Suddenly, a steel ball flew into the room. A steel ball flew in. The explosion puts everyone in time out. And then Athena breaks through the window to save Casey from leaving. But her hand was stuck just as the bomb ended. The boss came out and then the fight started. Casey realized that the two bosses that were killed were actually simulated robots. The boss has activated the self-destruct program. Athena grabbed her and ran outside. She was blown up just as she ran out the door. Before Casey could think about it, she was pushed into a car and left. When Casey realized Athena was a robot, she ran out of the car. As Athena was catching up with her, suddenly a pickup truck ran her over. The driver came down to check it out. Casey took the opportunity to steal the car and run. She looked in the rearview mirror. Athena caught up with her. She jumped and flew into the back of the pickup. Casey breaks hard. Athena hits the passenger side and pulls the key out. Then she told Casey that what she saw in the city of the future was real. She needed the help of a doctor. Casey arrives at the doctor's house. She was about to knock on the door. A big dog came running out, but Casey realized the big dog had no footprints. She scratched it twice. It turned out to be a holographic projection. So she went and knocked on the door and showed the badge to the camera. The doctor bounced her off with a wave of air. He was very angry about it, but May didn't give up. She set fire to Uncle's tractor. She lured the doctor into the house and used the shockwave to take revenge on the doctor. Casey saw David and Athena when they were kids. The doctor came in from the cellar. He was about to kick Casey's ass. Suddenly the alarm went off. A large number of black clad men came with guns. Under the continuous electric shock, one by one, the men in black were killed. Then the two of them tried to escape. Then the doctor was knocked out by a punch. Before the man in black could say a word, Casey knocked him down with a baseball bat. To escape, the two of them rushed to the bathtub. The doctor pressed the activation button. When the house exploded, the bathtub was launched and fell into a lake. Athena also drove over. After picking them up, they made it to the top of the tower. Casey clubbed the guards down. The doctor came into the room and started working on it. Suddenly, the room shook. The tower split in half. Underneath the tower, a huge object appeared. A huge rocket slowly rose up. At the top of the rocket, three people entered the cabin. Then the rocket began to lift off. But when the rocket reaches a certain altitude, suddenly turned around and crashed into the earth. The next second, the rocket accelerates. Space and time began to distort. Soon the rocket broke through the atmosphere. They arrived in another parallel world. As soon as they landed, the doctor's old friend came to greet them. He's actually the boss of this world. He led them to the time monitoring tower. There's a big iron ball here. He can see the past and future of the Earth. Casey was curious and went up to operate it. But she saw that the Earth was full of disasters. War, volcanoes erupting, melting glaciers, tsunamis, all of which will happen on Earth in the near future. But Casey soon realized it was all a trick set up by the monitoring tower. So she suggested shutting it down. But the boss wouldn't have it. He was about to banish the three of them to a desert island. After all, they knew too much. On their way out, they shook hands with the doctor. Suddenly, the doctor pushes a button in his hand. 
and told Athena to blow up the tower. Athena pulls out a small iron ball. It was detected by the robot. The task of blowing it up was left to Casey. As soon as she throws it, the elevator suddenly plummets. Luckily, Athena was able to control the robot and hold the elevator down. The bomb is about to explode. Casey threw it straight at the portal. The blast knocked down the pillars. The boss was crushed to the ground. At that moment, the boss shot at the doctor. Luckily, Athena jumped on the doctor and blocked the shot. The doctor was about to take her away to repair it. Athena knew she couldn't fix it. She activated the self-destruct system and asked that she be used to blow up the monitoring tower. The doctor threw Athena down. There was a loud bang. The tower exploded. The boss's plan was ruined. The future of Earth is still unknown. Just one year later, the time portal opens again. The doctor was recruited. He used a badge to recruit those with dreams to rebuild another parallel world.